みなさんこんにちははじめまして僕の名前はラウルですエンジニアですどうぞよろしくお願いします今から英語で話します I'm going to introduce you this presentation which is developed at Instituto Tecnológico Superior de Irapuato for the 4th Asian Conference in Education 2012. The topic for this presentation is Study Skills Forum in Website for an Efficient Academic Development of Students at DESI. Presented by me, Master in Science, Jose Raul Garcia Leon. Something about the context. The Instituto Tecnológico Superior de Irapuato, ITESI, is located at Carretera Irapuato Silao, kilometer 12.5. The mission of ITESI is to advance, technolo to advance knowledge and educate students in science, technology, and other areas of scholarships that will best serve the country and the world in the 21st century. Also, ITESI has a vision and values. The vision is focused on the, is focused on the become the best, the best option for students with a very good education, university education. And also the values are based on the working group, developing skills, and the work with the families of the students. And we talk about the problematic, we have a problem with all the students in the first semester, so like first or third semester. The problem is they have inadequate study skills. And justification for this problem and for their research is has an understanding and application of efficiency to the skills. The main target for this research is designing a methodology to define and disseminate appropriate study techniques for improving the academic development of students at ETC. And we developed or we got a question for this research which is what are the study techniques which promotes academic growth by using an electronic platform? Uh, we we have based on, on various methods for the teaching learning and the four of them are this the synthetic method which is the process of reasoning uh, in a sub for summary of learning and now the inductive method which is based on techniques or the strategies that enable students to obtain better learning also the deductive method uh, this is a concepts, definitions, laws, and principles that generate the deduction based on them. And finally, the analogical or comparative method, which allows to make analogies and logical reasoning with all the students. Now, let's talk something about the pedagogical basis. Uh, the Piaget philosophy, it's a biological and intellectual development, which is clearly related. And the Brunner philosophy, is based on the learning concept in the first 14 years of the students and also the training concept which starts at 15 years. The Vygotsky philosophy is based on a social cultural learning which is the importance of social context and the capability for imitation. It means that how the students develop in their own society, this helps to, to improve or develop their own skills when they, be, when they become students. And finally, the Oswald philosophy, which is associate and acquire knowledge throughout the experience. All they do, all they have, all they experience during all during their all childhood, or during the childhood, will help him, will will help them to develop their their skills for becoming students at the university. And this helps us because when they come to the university, they they are a mix of the cultural learning, the social learning, the experience learning, and the other basis, the family learning, they develop and mix all these skills for become a very good students or maybe not. So this is important for, for us. Now let's check something about the philosophical basis, kind of so subjectism and the rational. The first of it talks about the theory of knowledge that can be said of what is true for a subject and not for another. It means that if I have an, an idea, an experience, and social experience, kind of, maybe if we have this experience again, mm, the results or the understanding is true for me, but it doesn't mean that it will be the, the same for others. Mm, and now, also the rational 
which is char characterized by the real and the explanation of science in logical terms. Maybe with, if we talk about the world cycle, or kind of, uh, we can agree that this is this cycle is is true for everyone because this is a, a science explanation and this logical for for everybody. And we develop a methodology for true research, which is based on the Likert scale data collection. This is help us to to measure the impact for for students and all people involved with the research and also the complex alpha for a research measurement the, uh, about the level of impact and reliability with with all, all people involved with this project. The research design um, makes us to work with some characteristics or well, particularly the design. Uh, we can say that this is quantitative because uh, we're an objective interpretation of the phenomenon is the product of the information and also we can say it's descriptive because neural describes characteristics of a group of elements studied without making comparisons with another group, another, another groups. It means that we have been working with a uh, 30 students group and also with these students are all the exercises and activities and their results. We didn't make comparisons with another group because this particular group, the single group, is just our our focus in the research. So all the activities make some results about just with this group is just one one characteristic of them. So that's the reason we say this is this research is descriptive and quantitative. If we check some uh, statistics data, we have the first instrument, the, the A instrument, which make us know that this this research has a and an impact good based on the 35% uh, shown in the green bar and also has a 51% that shows that mm, data is, is correct for this for this work and also we check the V instrument we are going to explain it later we can check the level of reliability um, we can check that this is very good for the research time. Now let's check, let's check some of the results using the A instrument, which is based on the basic knowledge study. study. And we can see that 43 43% say yes, they the students have a basic knowledge of study, and also have a has a 50% who says no, they don't have a basic knowledge of study. And finally, we have a seven a seven percent, which means that nor they don't know and they don't understand or don't apply the basic knowledge, so they are kind of lost with the university, stu university studies. Um, now checking the, the V instrument, which is based on the study things and, and uh, the use of them, how to use of them. Uh, we can check with this graph that uh, the 30% they have some study techniques and they know how to use them and they have very good results but also we have 65 percent that they don't know maybe they have study techniques but they don't exactly know how to use them and, and how to get the the best of, of them mm, and also we have the 22 percent which is so bad for the institution because they they do not even have an study techniques and they don't know how they don't know how to use them so they are very lost so this is gonna be the result in the very good and um, in a very bad sorry very bad results for for, for institution checking the results we had some conclusions with the with this study so the cancer restricting the teaching learning process are the inadequate inadequate study habits and they have a poor or no planning time and a lack of general knowledge has also an inadequate tutorial orientation. We had to base it on these causes to make a proposal that helps us to improve all the all the teaching learning process. And we moved, we had to design a a learning proposal, which is based on reading and comprehension exercise for programming work done by using focus group in the developmental board and C plus plus. 
Also, various techniques were provided, such as, such as an abstract study, algorithms, nodes, flowcharts, summary, ta summary tables, concept maps, among others, through a web platform. This makes that all the process will be easily and faster. The, besides the above, offer a tutorial guide to participants in the research exercise which allowed an efficient understanding of the teaching learning process. And after we measured the impact of the strategy, statistically impact was measured using linker scale and level of reliability by Chromevax Alpha as we, as we saw in the last graphics, concluding that the results were positive because students build their own knowledge using a web platform. This makes it easy to access. This proposal is based on the in three main areas, which are the first of it, the reading and comprehension of text, the second is programming exercises, and adding the third, uh, personal, personalized, personalized tutoring. Mixing these activities, we can produce a significant learning for, us, for all the students because they can get and they can create their own knowledge. And <coughs> this proposal is based on many activities. Uh, these activities are, are shown here. The first of it is the, uh, getting a personal advice and identifying needs, review to the skills, implementation to the skills, uh, constant accompaniment, having, having a review of results, uh, process feedback, also having a mentor assignment and make a study design, <coughs> study design for detection of individual study techniques, mm. <coughs> review and selection for, of individual techniques, making a single application, a permanent accompaniment, a periodic observation of the results, because if we make this, <coughs> we can check that. With this proposal, we can check uh, these images, which shows um, the application of the activities, kind of uh, programming exercises in class, uh, robotics ex exercises, and uh, tutorial personaliz personalization. So these activities allows to the students to apply for a contest or for uh, challenges outside the, the university, outside the classroom. So they can get the, the most of it because they can apply all the knowledge and all the practice and practice all the all the studies they have done in the in the university. We can check in the next uh, slide uh, some activities where they have been working and they have used all the activities we teach them like a robotic context, a programming context, and a sports contest, and also they have uh, better results in. In their test, so they can they improve all their their knowledge, and this is this has been the best for them. Just have to applying all the activities. Well, actually, this was all the research we had done with all these students, the thirty students group, and as we said, it was it was a descriptive exercise. It was the best for them because they they could apply all the activities and get the best results. Uh, not just in the classroom, but outside the, the university and get very good results. So this was the presentation. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this and have a nice day. Thank you.